I remember when people started using the term globalization, and I think a lot of people still feel this way, like we were told and sold an idea that this is good for the world, that it brings us closer together, mm -hmm. that there's a unification in that. But the truth of that seems starkly different. Um, and the, the result of this in, on, with the agenda that it's been driven through, um, what happened at that time and how do you think that the intention of globalization, the truth of it actually has been told? So, you know, um, my new movement biography is out called Terra Viva, mm -hmm. published by Betsy Green. And, and I've kind of gone back to the movements of that time. How did I get involved in looking at globalization, which first was the GATT, the General Agreement on Trade and Tariffs, and then was signed and it became the Institutionalized World Trade Organization. I came across GATT through the corporations wanting to patent seed and push GMOs because they said it so clearly at a meeting I attended in 1987, which put me on the path of seed saving. Mm -hmm. They said, we have to own the seed to make new profits. And the only way we can take patents is by claiming that we've done something new. And they used to call them novel organisms as if, you know, they were, they were the makers. And we used to joke in the movement, you know, GMO for Monsanto means God move over. We are going to play the role of God. We are going to be uh, now onwards creators. But in a way, it wasn't for the first time, you know. Um, people think free trade grew with the WTO. India was colonized through a free trade agreement, you know. Mm. I've seen the text. Right Honorable East India Company and Farooq Sheer Farman. Farooq Sheer was kind of a, a, a collapsing Mughal em, empire, you know. He, and they bribed some clerks in his court to get this treaty, which basically is exactly what the corporate globalization is. Hmm. That local and the national will be punished and the global players will be rewarded with monopolies like intellectual property and patents and seed, with tax-free status, you know. I don't think most people have looked at how did the tech industry become so powerful, mm -hmm. you know. After all, you know, delivering tools is not being usually the way of becoming, becoming uh, the richest people of the world. Yes. Two things. First, they managed to push their tools into things where we didn't need it. And secondly, more importantly, they managed to get a tax-free status. Hmm. Yeah? The first WTO meeting was information movement will not be taxed. But information is what mm -hmm. this period was all about. And just look at how the tech giants exploded. And now they're trying to get into our food. And, uh, you know, I think I have sitting um, on my, yeah, I have it right here. This is the book I'm reading right now. Inside Silicon Valley's mission to change the way we eat. Wow. Um, so right now, if, if we look, you know, we defined globalization of, in the WTO phase as recolonization because it was taking us back mm -hmm. to where we had been. East India Company got a free trade agreement, took over our country. Um, trade has become the means of, of indirectly ruling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And who trades? Yeah, people produce. Who trades? Corporations trade. Mm -hmm. And if you look at it, just think of the fact that well, the biggest corporation, Amazon, doesn't produce anything. But it's shifting goods around. Mm -hmm. And, you know, every little, everyone's hairpin, everyone's little cup of tea uh, is being shipped. And people have got so used to the pseudo Convenience, I call it, yeah. because I think for me, convenience has to be, is it convenient to the world of which I'm a part? Is it convenient to communities of which I'm a part? Mm -hmm. uh, or is the, my carelessness right. the root of huge unemployment mm -hmm. and huge pollution? I mean, people haven't done the homework. What getting the tiniest good in giant sized packaging? Yes. How many trees are cut? How much trust styrofoam is piling up? So um, the corporations have just in a way worked out brilliantly how to get rid of our realities. Mm -hmm. And Meta is the ultimate example.